Good morning. It is hump day happy chat time and you're probably noticing my weepy eye on the right side. I don't know, my eye's just not happy today. Well, actually it's been a couple days. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live from the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery. It's me again. Yay, Valerie Shepard here. <laughs> I have a weepy eye and it's been doing it for a couple of days and I've been increasing my intake of um, water. I almost said my intake of alcohol. Maybe that's what I should be increasing my intake of. My intake of water, because I had heard from a doctor at some point that sometimes that's a, weepy eye is like a sign of dehydration. And uh, so I've been playing with that. <laughs> it's not getting better right now though. So I'm just gonna be talking and dabbing at my eye. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, thanks for joining. It's hump day. Yay! I'm, it's a good hump day for me because in a few days I'll be jumping on a plane and heading out to this thing called rest and rejuvenation and vacation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, as Medea would say. So, um, hi. <laughs> Let me come into the space. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to another hump day happy chat. Um, I'm really glad that you're here. I'm really glad that I'm here. And uh, I'm doing random today. You know what? Uh, I really have a random topic. It came to me in my sleep. It's like I woke up with this idea. So I guess I'm just going to talk about it and see what happens. So, um, so the, the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery, um, we do, uh, coaching and workshops and retreats and uh, all around helping you master you in your life so that you can exquisitely manage whatever life brings your way. And your life is bringing all kinds of things your way. And the question is, have you got the discernment and the constitution, also known as the cons consciousness, good morning, the consciousness, thank you for being here, the consciousness within your instrument to steer your life in the in the confidently in the direction of your dreams while at the same time maintaining this place of ease and grace and self-love and self-connection and all the aspects of life that are available to us when we're in this state that I call living happy to be me. So this one came to me this morning, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, it came up as random acts of I don't care. Random acts of I don't care. Actually, let me back up. Truth be told, <laughs> it came up as random acts of I don't give a blank. <laughs> and I kind of was like, well, that's interesting. What should I do that? So, random acts of, I don't give a poopy. <laughs> and then I um, allow that to percolate. And the truth is, what I feel was coming through was wanting to be talked about was how to keep yourself in neutral. Random acts of neutrality when all around you there are triggers to anything but neutral. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I found myself, and this is funny, how whenever something comes to me, I know it's about me, right? I'm sharing it with you, and I'm doing that from a place of, and I know I'm working on this too, not from a place of, do it like I told you because I know everything. I'm doing it from a place of, Wow, can I get some more mastery in this area for myself? This little ducklet is ducklet, duckling <laughs> is still growing. So, well, and you know that that goes along with my uh, favorite quote by Seneca, which is, "As long as you live, keep learning how to live." 
So here we go. This idea of random acts of, I don't care, random acts of neutrality. So this morning, I got a text. I don't usually look at my phone. There are certain things I just try not to do because I just don't want the disruption. I don't want to be pulled out of my morning routine, which includes meditation. It includes, kind of, it includes my um, chat with the divine. It includes my chat with myself around, around, excuse me, around setting my intentions for the kind of experience I want to create for the day. I intend to be creating for the day. And so I like to stay with me while I do that. And I, um, after my little bells went off, ding, 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 my alarm bells, I was taking my phone to plug it in and I looked at it and there was a text there and I got totally distracted. Have you ever done this? You're on your way to A and then you get distracted and you're, so you're doing something, blah, 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 B, C, D, and then A never happens. Like this happens sometimes when I have a draft, an email that I thought I hit send on and two days later people are saying, you never got back to me. And I'm like, yes, I did. No, actually, it never left my inbox. Interesting. No, it never left my outbox. <laughs> never left my outbox because I got distracted on the way. So this was one of those times in the morning, going to plug my phone in, notice this text. And I could feel the, I need to explain, I need to get this on track, I need to tell this person, no, we're not doing it that way. I need to, I need to, I need to. And then I remembered the topic that came up this morning for me, random acts of I don't care. And I literally stopped mid-typing, took the phone and plugged it in, never sent that text, still sitting in my phone, not going to. And I came back to a place of, that's really not that important. And what I could feel carrying me away was the sense that I need to straighten this person out or I need to straighten this out. If it's even, if it's not even about the person, I need to straighten this situation. I need to deal with this right now. I'll show them. And if it's, it, it doesn't even have to be with that kind of, I'll show them, right? It could just be, I want to get this done. I want this off my plate. You ever feel that way? I just want this to be done because there are so many things right behind it that really need my attention. <sighs> See why that vacation is calling me? <laughs> Random act of I don't care, right here. Random act of I don't care also known as random act of neutrality. So what is neutrality? Excuse me while I dab my eye. Neutrality is this very stable, balanced place of not needing to be right and not feeling like you're wrong if you're not right. Not needing to have a yes. And not believing that if I didn't get a yes, it means it's a no. Not worrying about making something hot or cold, good or bad, right or wrong. Just being with it the way it is. And releasing. It's a little bit of a step back like releasing any need, any impetus, any desire, any pull toward pushing, toward fixing, toward setting it a certain way. Neutrality is this place, this I don't, I don't think I really care right now. And it doesn't mean I don't care at all forever. I will care no more forever. It means in this moment, my peace is tantamount. My peace is the most important thing that I'm going to give energy to. 
my peace deserves my attention more than anything else. My peace, not my peas, P-E-A-C-E, -E, my peace. I even, when I say that word with an exhale, my whole body just gets into a groove point. My neutral. Isn't it funny? I used to think that neutral meant there was nothing there. Like who wants to be in neutral? I need to be in good. I need to be in better. I need to be in best. And actually neutral feels like a really, it feels like a yes place. Like yes, neutral is just, the energy of yes can coincide with neutral. I also feel like a neutral, is the next stepping point to me giving myself a standing ovation. Ha 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 Random acts of I don't care. I don't care. And not an I don't care like I don't care. No, random acts of I don't think I care so much about that. That I need to do something. That, I need to disagree with you. That, I need to point out how I'm right. That, I need to push and make things happen. That, I need to stop what I'm doing and engage in this. See what I mean? The random acts of I don't care are a way that can give you focus. Keep focused on where you are. There's a ding on your phone and a notification comes in. You could implore, employ, a random act of I don't care as the way that you stay engaged in what you're doing and get to that thing later. Somebody says something and you feel it rising into from a place of what to a place of, oh no, they didn't, right? Into that anger, I'm gonna engage and set them straight and do something right. And you can employ a random act of I don't care a random act of shift back into neutrality and just allow some of your unsettledness to move away. Maybe it's not yours to do, whatever it is. Maybe it's not yours to handle. Maybe it's not yours to handle right now. And the random act of I don't care, also known as neutrality, that random act of giving yourself opportunity to be in neutrality, in neutral, allows the whole situation to be reframed and to come into a different focus. And from that new place of focus, you create a new relationship with the situation that gives you a new opportunity to get into a right relationship with whatever it is. So let's, let's just explore a couple. What are the, what are the uh, things that you could be doing that are these random acts of I don't care, neutrality? So you saw me do one a little minute ago, freeze frame. This is a, a heart math technique, and I love heart math, as you know. The power of your sacred divine heart leading your life is the key to living happy to be me. And then bringing this magnificent superconductor computer processor along with you, the brain, in service to the heart. And what I did was a freeze frame, just a pause, like, okay. Stop the runaway train, hold the bus. Hold the bus, people. Stop that runaway train. A deep breath and a second one, maybe even a third you might need. What's so powerful about the deep breath? Well, one of the things is you oxygenate your blood, which oxygenates the blood in the brain which gives your brain much needed oxygen and oxygen's important for this 
microprocessor to do its job in the most effective way. So your discernment can increase when you're oxygenated. Yay. So discernment is key to deciding what it is, choosing what it is that is your next best move. Wow. So deep breath is one of them. Another random act of neutrality is to say an intention for what you really want in the moment, especially when there's a train running away and you're on it and you don't really want to be, right? Hi, Erica. Oh my gosh, so beautiful to see you. Many blessings, my dear friends. Love and light. Love and misses. So random act of I don't care, random act of neutrality is to just get back into what you really, really want. So often we focus on when things come up and we're going, that's not what I want. How did that happen? Why is this happening? We focus on that and that's getting our energy. So right after the random act of neutrality called a deep breath, you could insert a new one that is also reminding yourself what it is that you want. I am divinely guided and guarded and protected at all times. I am one with all that is. I am peace, and so I experience peace in my life. When I say that, I am peace, and so I experience peace in my life, especially when I'm dealing with something that I don't want to deal with. Like a week ago, when there was a parking ticket on my car my little pearly jukebox, my pearly juke joint, there was a parking ticket. And I was like, but I'm in a place that doesn't have any parking restrictions. How can I get a ticket? I am peace. And therefore, I experience peace in every aspect of my life. That was enough to let me go, oh, well, I'll stay in neutrality. I didn't deal with that parking ticket till the next day. You have 21 days to answer them anyways. So why allow myself to be disrupted just because it presented itself? So here's the other, another random act of neutrality. Drop the mic, baby. A mic drop. Okay, so here's my mic. So when you're tempted to go on a long involved story about why it should be, where it should be, and here's why I think that, and don't you understand, and here are my credentials, right? When, when we get our tails up on our backs and we're roaring forward to say who we are and what we mean and you don't understand me, probably because we've taken something a little too personally, right? And so we want to explain. You can do a mic drop and just zip it random act of neutrality oh, not so important for me to have my say right now i love watching myself do that as a person who loves to communicate who loves to talk loves to i will confess sometimes loves to hear herself talk i said it tis true and i forgive and love myself anyway a random act of neutrality for me is to let it alone. To really love myself as a person who didn't have the last word. To love myself not correcting someone. <laughs> to love myself not being offended. Random act of neutrality. Get myself back to neutral. Funny thing that happens when I'm in neutral, I notice Nothing really bad was happening anyways. Nothing really bad was about to happen anyway. So I was doing this thing called making a mountain out of a molehill. Oh no, you did it. Oh yes, I have in the past. If you have too, you can give me an amen in the comments. Made a mountain out of a molehill. Here's the thing with those mountains, boy, you have to climb them and you gotta climb back down. And it can be very disruptive in a day, in a week, in a relationship, in any situation, creating mountains where there don't need to be, we're making it harder on ourselves. We're doing that thing called struggle. 
And it's important to notice when we're hooked into struggle. Another random act of neutrality or random act of I don't care, walk away. Just get up from your desk, excuse yourself from the meeting, and take a little lap. If it's in the parking lot or if it's in the hallway or wherever it needs to be in order for you to shut down that impetus to, to get engaged, to make it matter, to do something, I have to do something, say something. Random act of neutrality. Let me see if there's anyone else that wants to come. Random act of neutrality. Oh yes, of course. Laughter, one of my favorites. Um, I am a certified laughter yoga instructor, and one of the um, little things that we do in between laughter yoga exercises is this sort of cleansing of the palate. And where we go, um, very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! So something uncomfortable happens, and I feel like I have to engage, and I'm like, oh wow, very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! That is actually a random act of neutrality. It takes me out of the moment of having to deal with whatever that is that isn't what I want and puts me in a place where I can just allow it to be and actually even get into a fun little playful sport of gratitude around it. Laughter can be a very good random act of neutrality. Random act of, I don't care. I uh, can't deal with that right now. Is there anything else? I would love to know any of your random acts of neutrality, any of your random acts of I don't care. Sometimes when I get into random acts of neutrality, I might go get something good to eat, something that nourishes my higher self. Like I love apples. Like what my favorite apple is a Pacific rose, which I had never had anywhere till I was here in California. And I get out my little apple thing and I slice it and I eat some apple. And sometimes when I'm feeling, especially like I'm gonna take myself into a neutral place of this doesn't matter, it's neither good nor bad, I just wanna be with me, come back home to me. I put a little bit of, um, extra crunchy peanut butter on it. Yum, yum. So are you getting it? Random acts of I don't care or random acts of neutrality are things that you, they're devices, they're actions that you would take to pull yourself out of a situation, out of a moment that is taking you down a path or into a feeling, into a space that is not serving you for what you need to do in the moment. It's not about brushing over things and, and like not dealing with them. I eventually will deal with my text. And when I do, I'll be doing it from a much higher vibration, a much more um, centered, balanced, anchored in my magnificent essence energy as opposed to whatever that was when I was writing that text earlier this morning. It can be easy to live happy to be me. It can be easy. So here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good, very good, yay, for joining me this morning on this edition of the Hump Day Happy Chat. I think it's Hump Day Happy Chat number 69. Random acts of I don't care. This is Valerie Shepard signing off from the Hartley Center for Mindfulness and Self Mastery, and I'm giving the loving kindness prayer to you and to me and to all beings. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature and may all beings be free. And that includes you and me. Many blessings. Have an awesome, well not have, create an awesome day for yourself. Signing off.
Thanks for joining. Please share. Please share. Please share. Share, share, share. Here's the button. See you later. Bye.